weep no more. Leaving behind all trouble and sorrow, bound for that city built on high. When I wake up.
the streets of that city No wreath for death on my mansion door Teardrops aren't welcome beyond the gates of glory A heart will never break Question the loss of a loved one. The gray seems so final and cold, but I'll meet them where death has no victory in a land where we'll never. And no reef of death on my mansion door. And teardrops aren't welcome beyond the gates of glory. A heart will never break anymore. And tears will never stain the streets of city and no reef of death on my mansion door and teardrops are welcome beyond the gates of glory a heart will never break anymore a heart will never break anymore You're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener-funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube, Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. Hey, folks, we're glad to be here tonight, and we're going to have a, a good program here tonight with some great Southern Gospel music. And, uh, you know, uh, Lamar is an important day for our country. We're voting for the President of the United States, and there's a lot of other things out there to vote for. And uh, we need to be very sincere in what we are doing and uh, if you're not voted go and vote tomorrow tomorrow's that day that we're going to be casting our vote and uh, we'll be either voting for donald trump or joe biden and i hope and pray that you're going to vote for donald trump because our country is in very serious trouble 
and we need to vote. And, and you say, well, how can I do that? How do I know what to do? Well, first of all, you ought to pray. And, uh, and my platform is that I'm not going to vote for somebody that then already uh, want to have a platform of killing little babies. If somebody come in here and come around me and said they was going to uh, kill my little great grandchild, and the uh, and the least one is how old? A little over a year in she, Linda, right. and they said they was going to kill her. I do everything in my power to stop them. Well, when we got a group of people out there that said they're going to kill little babies and and all that stuff. When God said that's wrong, and that is, and it is wrong, and that's in the Bible too. And the Bible says, "Thou shalt not kill," and taking a little baby's life. I'm not going to vote for him to be president of the United States either. Hey, Alan. What, Linda? Two wrongs don't make a right. That's right. All the women uh, and girls that are going out and the government says they can have an abortion, they can get rid of that baby. Uh, un unwed mothers. Two wrongs don't make a right. Just because they're having a baby and not married, that is wrong, but God can forgive them. But when they do the second sin, is killing their own baby. That that is wrong. That's that's, right. that's murder. Go ahead. And two wrongs does not make a right. So this program tonight, you know, is going to be about our country and our nation. And if you're not voted, I hope you get voted. And you say, well, I ain't going to go vote. Well, let me tell you, if you don't vote, you are guilty as they are. You are guilty as the one that wants to kill that baby. And we're voting, this election we got is one of the most serious elections we ever have. If we, if we go with that Joe Biden, we're going to go, our country is headed towards communism. China's going to have its way. And you might as well call America China anymore. And folks, as a Christian and as a person that believes in God and believes in the Bible, we got to stand for Donald Trump. He's not a politician. You say, Alan, you're going to po political matters. Call it whatever you want to. I call it the Bible. When we got, when we got a guy that's took up for a country more than any man out there. And I know I'll probably make an enemies. Two or three more is not going to hurt. Got a bunch of people out there gets out there and gossip and backbites and criticize and run you down for no problems at all. Two or three more is not going to hurt me. And folks, I'm here to stand for the right and right. And we're going to stand for the right. If the stars fall out of heaven, we're going to stand for the right. I went to the polls and I voted for Donald J. Trump. He has done more than any president that we've ever had. And folks, he has helped our country. He has helped our nation. And we're going to be hearing from a woman about 8.30 or later, Glory Nyhart has got a great video out, and we got that posted all over Facebook. And she wrote that song, for Donald Trump himself. We're going to hear that song on this program sometime tonight. And we're going to, we're going to pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and we're going to start this program out right tonight because I'm praying to God that we get four more years from Donald Trump by tomorrow night. Let's take a listen to the flag of our country, and let's, let's observe it. Here's a justified quartet to sing to us now. Let's get started, Linda. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light 
what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star space Jesus is my Savior, Trump is my President. Jesus is my Savior, Trump is my President, and here is the flag of the United States of America, and we're proud to be here, and we're going to send this program out across the world. If you're not voting, get down there and vote for your President, the Donald J. Trump, that's tried his best, and he's not even a politician. He's not a politician. He is our president, and he stands firm to try to make America great again, and this may be the last chance we have. Go to the polls and vote for Donald J. Trump tomorrow. Here we go with the Kingdom Bears. <laughs>
drive the nail I did not hear him cry I did not see him suffering Nor did I watch him die But I know he rose up from the grave I know he holds his keys For he broke the chains that bound me
she got one special song. We got a few songs we're going to play of her tonight, but she wrote one special song for a, a special person, and we're going to put her on the air right now. Hello, is this Sister Gloria Nineheart? How are you, Alan and Linda Presley? I'm so glad to be on the show tonight or this evening. And God bless America. Amen. Our country of America, Alan. Well, Sister Nineheart, uh, before we get started, uh, would you lead us to the Lord in prayer? Yes, I will. Okay. Heavenly Father, we lift our nation up to you. We lift our President Trump up to you. Any mother, any child, any husband. Lord, you've been good to our country. President Trump has been good to our country. He stood behind us all the way. We need four more years with him, Lord. He's been behind Israel, the country, my Lord's land, that someday I would love to walk on, Lord to stand and kiss your land where your where your chosen people have walked. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Sister Nyhart, uh, we're glad to have you on the program tonight, and uh, we we appreciate what you've done. How long you been singing now? I've been singing since Alan Presley when I was a little girl, but I gave it up because I went on for some of my dreams. I was in the Army. I was in the National Guards and the Reserves, the Army National Guards and the Reserves. And then I decided to take up the post office. I worked at the United States Post Office for years until the till I had um, code blue. My heart stopped a few times. And I went to St. Mary's here in Rochester, Minnesota, and I had a pacemaker in. And I've given my time now. When I sat in the hospital room with the four walls around me, and my mother was going blind, she told me, Gloria, you got another job to do. I've been writing songs. My first song I wrote was for late singer Joyce Dottie Rambo. My first song, I saw her three days, Alan Presley and Linda, before she went home with the Lord. On the way to see late singer Joyce Dottie Rambo, I wrote 15 songs in the car with my son with autism. I wrote songs upon songs. I wrote them on toilet paper. I wrote them on cereal boxes. And any catalog I could find, I put songs on there. One of the songs that I wrote on the way to see late singer Dottie Rambo, Pray for Jerusalem. And it's a wonderful song, and Israel shall blossom and bud. I Some of the songs. Sister Nahart, how long was you in the National Guards? I was in since 1981, and I went out in 1994. Um, I was suspecting my boy with autism, and I decided I was going to quit. I was a, a nurse in the service, and then I was a cook, and I did some music singing with some of the friends in, in the military at different church um, things settings and me in parks i like to sing the song god bless america i sing a lot of christmas songs i've written christmas songs so you kind of have an idea i've written songs for other singers too well that's great sister Nahart, uh what part of minnesota you live in I live right outside of rochester minnesota where the mayo clinic is 12 miles south of Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, is it cold up there? Yes, right tonight it's 40 degrees. Tonight, this evening. We've already had snow last week. Wow, how much snow you got on the ground now? No, we don't have anything tonight. What? And it was good because Friday I saw President Trump out at the airport and um, it was a little frosty out there. It was kind of chilly. But with with everybody singing, and I had a lot of Christian friends, we had a wonderful time seeing President Trump come in and speak. 
There's probably a huge crowd there, wouldn't he? Oh yes, it's the crowds are packed when he he'll he'll bring them in. Wow. And Sister Nyhart, uh, what do you like about the president of the United States, Donald Trump? He stands for America. His interest is for our country. Um, and and um, and uh, uh, moral values. Another thing, like I mentioned, they want to take out one nation under God. This is our country. If we were brought up one nation under the God, and when I was in the military, I stood hours for that flag. If you if you start removing things from the Lord, the Lord's going to lift His hand upon you. You can't mess with our Lord. He stands for Israel, and it says in the Bible, I will bless them that bless me, and I will curse them that curses me. And there's so many songs that I, I'm trying to get out about Israel. I think I wrote 50 songs for Israel, Alan and Linda. Okay. And I'm so proud. It's an, When I'm in the presence of the Lord, there's times... The Lord wants me just to be alone, and I've written songs upon songs about Israel. And in, in the Bible verses, if you look them up, they're in Summon and Zechariah about Israel. And them, those are our Lord's chosen people, and you don't want to mess with them. Well, what's the, name, what's the name of that song that you wrote about President Trump? Blessed is the nation. Blessed the nation. Yes, and another fellow singing with me, Michael, on the song. Okay, now who would you say singing with you? Michael. What? His name is Michael. He's a friend of mine. Oh, okay. Uh, and you wrote this for President Trump, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, t t talk, tell them a little bit about the song, then we're going to listen to it. Um, When I wrote this song... It was like a few days after he was elected last time. And the Lord gave me the song in the middle of the night. I woke up. And that evening I wrote 35 songs, Alan and Linda. And I just kept writing songs. And President Trump met the world to me. And I bowed my head and I prayed. And, and that's when the Lord gives me songs. I, I've written a song for C.C. Wyman. I think you know who she is. And I wrote a song that evening for Bill Gaither. But my goal was to write a song for President Trump, my president. And he's always meant the world to me for his values, the morals, and what he stands up for America. And I love this song that I wrote for him. Okay, if you'll hang right tight, we'll play this song, okay? Okay, sounds wonderful. Okay, Bless the Nation. This was a song that you wrote for President Trump. Here we go. Let's take a listen. I got to get over here before I can hit the right button. Here we go. Take a listen. Without my redeemer, where would I roam? Without our Jesus, our souls would be lost. For our country, the Lord of our prayer, He held our hand when things seemed so wrong. God is the Lord. Proud be 
said you was in the military for a number of years sir yes i was then you went to work for the united states post office and uh just just share from your heart how, what's going to happen this is a most important uh president election that we have ever had probably in the history of the world and what do you, what you, you've been a military lady and been in the military what do you think is going to happen if we don't make, if this country don't make the right choice at this time? We're going to fall on our face and the people are going to weep to God. This is serious. When you re try to remove one nation under God, when you want to take things away, that uh, when people want to think abortion should be right and it isn't, only God takes life. You can't mess with our master, our king. You can't mess around, because God will lift his hand from you. And we need to stand for President Trump. Some people don't like his way he is or how he talks. But down in your heart, people in America, wherever you live, you could live in America here somewhere. I've, I've been in the military. I was at Fort Jackson, South Carolina. I went to Fort Lee, Virginia, in San Antonio, Texas. I'm proud of my flag. And Lord, please don't let them take one nation under God. I've written a song, God Bless Our Nation, America, the land that I love. I've written a hundred songs about our country. And, and Sister Nyhart, uh, if our country and our nation went socialism, or I call it communism, what, what, what will it be like if that took place? Oh, we, we might not be having church or meeting in churches. Things aren't going to, you won't have your freedom of speech. And they, if they start taking guns, they're going to start taking our Bibles. And we have to stand firm with President Trump. They were all sorts of kind of people at the, the rally, people coming in from Oklahoma. They were people coming in from Iowa. And they had their slants. I didn't know them. Some were Catholic, some were Baptist, some were Methodist, Pentecostal like me. But there were women praying together. A woman from Oklahoma was praying with me, Gayla. If she can hear me, I had a wonderful time when I, I was close to President Trump in Rochester, Minnesota, where the Mayo Clinic is. This isn't a game we're playing. This is for your children's children and their children. When you start removing things, Alan, and one nation under God, and President Trump's behind Israel. God's going to say enough's enough. That's my feeling. Amen. Well, what about this song that you wrote, The, the Land That I Love? America, the land that I love. I wrote it for my hometown. I'm always in the parades here in Minnesota. I throw Maudy beads. I hand out American flags on July 4th. I hand out candy. My hometown has a Independence Day or Fourth of July parade. I'm always in it. I was going to be Grand Marshal in my parade. I was going to show some of my friends before I came to know Jesus, Alan and Linda. I used to sing Chaka Khan. There's nothing wrong with it. But I used to sing Stevie Nicks songs and heart. 
I used to sing a lot of other songs. I used to sing Diana Ross the songs in the military before I came to know the Lord. But in my hometown, they were going to have the 4th of July parade. One evening, I was with my mother in the nursing home. She was blind. And I told her I was going to write this song, America, the Land That I Love. And it's a beautiful song. It talks about our land here in America. Amen. Okay, let's listen to that song, and we'll get right back to you, okay? Okay. Okay, let's take a listen to this song, The Land That I Love. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. America, the land that I love. The USA, the Lord, stands by her when we pray for the good old, old USA. It's titled, God, God Bless Our Nation. 
It's almost the same title of that new one, Bless Our Nation. And mm, it, what about uh, this song, God Bless? Well, I wrote this song when I started to sing in um, 2005 when I had my heart attack and I had cold blue. A friend of mine came through and I was going to have a gospel bash. And I was going to have Dion Pride here and Charlie Pride's son, Dion Pride. And he was here. And one evening, a bunch of us were sitting around. And I was sitting around the campfire. And I wrote the song, God Bless Our Nation, with a few friends of mine. And it was a wonderful time. And the Lord gave me that song that evening. And I love the song. It's called God Bless Our Nation. Okay, we, we, we're going to play this here in a minute, but Sister Nahart, uh, uh, uh Gloria, uh, Mary Burke made a comment uh, that you were so talented, said you need to send these songs to President Trump. Okay, I will. I'll try to find a address and I'll get the songs to him. And, and, and Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. And Sister Nyhart. That, uh, was, that was Murray Burke that said that. And she sings too. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll try to, you know, find her on Facebook or, you know, try to visit with her and try to get President Trump's address. Yeah, and, and if you find out how to get a hold of him, you tell him. And uh, we're going to, this program will be named after you tonight on the program. Okay. And Thank when you. we and when we get it all up, see we put it, it goes over on YouTube. We'll send you copies of everything. That it takes a while to do all that. Mm -hmm. I understand it's a lot of work. I, I, I know that with the recording and other radio stations I've been on around the, the world. And Sister Nyhart, it's been a great honor and pleasure. But before we get before we go and play these this song, I want to. Uh, asked you, is anybody out there that you think might be listening that you would like to tell hello to? Yes, I would like to tell some of the singers in the associations I'm in. I would like to first tell um, Dion Pride, Charlie Pride's son, hello this evening. I would like to tell um, Lulu Roman of Hee Haw, um, Hi, I would like to tell my friend Kelly Klein and my friends on P Facebook, Alan and Linda, I have 5,000 people on Facebook and more trying to get in. Um, other singers around the world, that mean the world to me. Amen. And Sister Nyhart, you up there in Minnesota, see if you can share our program and, and uh, tell folks about our program up on your up there up in your country, and it's been a great honor having you on here, and we're going to listen to this song, and then we're going to play some more songs about our country. Okay, God bless. And God bless you, Sister Nyhart. Alan Presley Promotions loves you, and God bless you. Yes, and tonight, um, tomorrow morning, go out and vote for America, Amen. for our country. Okay. We sure will. We've already voted. What, Landla? We've already voted, but ever we don't know everybody else I might not have. Yeah, me and Landla's done already voted. Oh, okay. I haven't voted in the morning right away. I'm going to get up and go vote. Well, I hope you go and get down there, because, man, there's a mob of people voting last year. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people out there voting. Amen. And, and that we owe our country that duty, too. And we're going to say, God bless you, Sister Nyhart. And God bless you, Alan and Linda. Have a good night. You, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amen. We're going to listen to this song with Sister Gloria Nyhart. And, Linda, I think we ought to play that new one that she wrote for Donald Trump. What do you think? Play it again. Okay. And, and if you want to see it, you can look on Alan Presley's page. I got it plastered everywhere. It's a video. And you ought to look at the video. And Sister uh, Gloria Nyhart made that video. And we had a little problem getting it on there. But we got it on there. And if you hadn't seen it, 
you ought to go there and take a peep at it. And we're going to listen to her sing this song right now about our country. Liberty, God stands beside her. He protects her when we go to our church and pray. America, my America, the land. Listening to the very best of Southern Gospel Music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener funded ministry. We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us.
Folks, this, this program that we're doing tonight is so important to our country. This is probably the most important election in the history of this world right now. Our, our country is in dangerous country right now. It's dangerous. America is dangerous. The country is dangerous. But we've had a man for the last four years that has stood and stood on that solid rock and he's tried to direct this country to the best he could and fighting the swamp and standing against the swamp and standing against dirty tactics. He wasn't no politician. He was a businessman. And a businessman that went to be president of the United States. And he's been fought like everything. But he keeps standing in there. And, folks, this is a most important serious program and I mean, a program, and if this program is important, our nation is important, we are in dangerous territory right now. And let's make sure that we try to put him back for another four years and that we hear the news by tomorrow night. And we're going, we're going, this program, I hope it goes vital, and I hope it goes all over the world because it needs to be done, and we need to stand in, in firm ground. We're going to hear Sister Gloria Nyhart sing his song again. I know I played it once. You can find it on Facebook and watch the video. It, it, it's real touchy. We're going to play this song again. This is a song that she wrote for Donald Trump himself. Let's take a listen one more time at it. Then we'll go on. Without my redeemer, where would I roam? Without our Jesus, our souls would be lost. For our country, the Lord of our prayer, He held our hand when things seemed so long. Blessed is the nation whose 
country was founded by a few godly men. And I, as a Christian, I have rights I'll defend. Now I love America, and I love Jesus too. Every night on my knees, I ask the Lord, please, God bless the red, white, and blue.
stands for every woman, man, and child who live in this country. And he gives us the right to be free. And he said, Daddy. God bless America. This is the greatest country in the world, folks. And we ought to look up and say, thank God for our freedom, that we have our freedom to serve God and from the bottom of our hearts. Never before in the history of this world has our freedom been in jeopardy like it has now in which we live. But we got another four years coming up that we can make America great again. I proudly wear this shirt with the flag on it. And it says on here, God is my Lord and Savior. Donald Trump is my president. Jesus is my Savior. What, Landa? Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Savior. Trump is my president. Trump is my president. And here's the hat that I got. It says, Make America Great Again with the flag on it. And folks, all of this stuff that we're seeing was started in a communist country. And I'm going to say it, China. They're the one that's got this flu, this virus thing going around. It's almost cost their freedom because they want to take our country over. It just about took her freedom. Brenda Dittany's got them over in the hospital and they can't hardly get in to even see her. I got a mom that's in a nursing home and the only way she can be seen is looking through a uh, window from the outside. Can't get in there. Me and Linda hadn't saw her since September the 21st on her birthday. Our freedom is just about gone. And Sister Gloria told us a little bit about what's going to happen. And folks, we need to go out and vote. If you ain't voting, vote in tomorrow. See if you don't vote and take your stand. You're as guilty as the enemy. And you don't have a right to complain or say nothing when the communists in the world take their freedom away from us. You don't have a right to complain. But we need to stand. And I hope we can share this program like we never, ever shared it before. I get serious about this. Really, I get upset a lot of times over it. The way our world has got, the way our churches has got. And folks, we in serious trouble. But we can get out of it. God said if his people would turn to him and look to him, he would heal our land. That's what God said. Let us pray. And Father, Lord, we thank you for this night. We thank you for the blessings. 
And God, I don't know how, how we do this. I don't even know how we do programs like this. You give us the songs and you give us the music that we can play. And God, you give us the talent. And you give us those that we put on this program. God, I don't know how we come up with all these people like Sister Gloria Nyhart out of Minnesota. And we get them out of Florida. We get them out of uh, uh, Texas. We get them out of South Africa. We got listeners even listening in South Africa. We got singers over there. And God, I don't know how. It's a, I, I can't explain it, God, but you sent them our way, God. And God, we want to thank you for it. We thank you, God, that there's people across our nation that stands up for you and stands up for America and stands up for the Christian people. And God, it may come a time it takes our life. But God, we got something to look forward to. If it takes our life, God, we're ready to go. We're prepared to go to that great heavenly home. And God, I pray that you will bless our nation and bless our country. And God, you have blessed America many a times, but God, those blessings could be taken away from us. And God, I pray that you'll bless every listener out there, every home, every family. And God, for those that hadn't voted, I pray that they'll go and vote for a guy that's no politician. He's no politician. He stands for the truth when he knows he's going to get in hot water. He stands for our nation because he loves our nation. And God, I pray that he will be elected again tomorrow. Help our people to go. Help us to take our stand like we never have before. I pray, God, you'll take this program. You'll use it for your glory and your honor. Bless every home, every family, every individual. Be with those that are sick tonight. Be with those that are not Christians, that they will turn to you and look to you and trust in you. Bless our nation, God, you have. Thank you, God. Thank you for the American flag, God. And God, I pray that our country will get back and respect that flag. God, when I went to school, they raised the flag on the flagpole every morning if it wasn't raining. They took it down and they folded it up like it ought to be folded. And they didn't let it touch the ground. And when it rained, they took the flag down where it wouldn't get wet. I pray, God, that our country will get back to honoring our flag. I pray that our teachers in the schools will get back to putting God into school again. Where they took him out of schools. They took him out of a lot of our colleges. I pray God that he will be put back where he has been taken out. Bless their homes. Bless their families. And God, I pray that the devil will be defeated. And God, he'll quit messing around in the home life and try and tear homes up. I pray that he'll quit messing around in the churches, that the men of God would stand like they never have before and preach the word of God and tell it like it's never been told. In Christ's name we pray, amen. Linda, who we got coming up next? I, I can't see that up there. Who? Randy and Terry. It's Randy and Terry Bailey. And they can play about anything in the world. And this is about our country, too. Take a listen. The Randy and Terry Bay.
Yeah. 
lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee across the plains of Texas from sea to shine sea from Detroit down to Houston from New York to L.A. Well, oh, there's pride in every American heart and it's time we stand and say We walk around in fear Because of you We'll never have to know Thank you for your sacrifice for America 
Thank you for the price you paid to serve. The freedoms that have come from each battle that you've won. Thank you, my friend, for a man. Every part of our great land There is pride in America And those who proudly stand They stand for the prize of freedom Shining forth its light Our troops who serve with honor Who fight the violent Well, it cannot win, for they have all forgotten the past of where we've been, and how the Lord has blessed us, our country one and all, because we stood for what is right, and then served to its cause. That we hold dear today And to all the world who see her A sign for one and all That freedom will forever reign If we answer to its call To stand up for our country Listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions, Facebook Live and YouTube. Monday through Sunday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., bringing you the best in gospel music. Alan Presley Promotions is a listener funded ministry. 
We would ask you to be in prayer about becoming a financial partner with Alan and Linda Presley to keep this wonderful music, the great music of Southern Gospel, coming out to you each night. If you would like to make a donation to this ministry, you can send your donation to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. WOTG Radio Network and Television and Alan Presley Promotions on Facebook Live and YouTube Monday through Sunday 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and join with us. And what a great time we've had here tonight with Sister Gloria Nyhart from the state of Minnesota. And man, I tell you what, God has given her some talent to write some great songs about her country. And it was a great honor to have her on the program here tonight. And folks, we're here every night trying to bring to you the best in Southern Gospel music. Here's Lady Presley. Okay, Alan. It's getting late. We got uh, 12 more minutes left to do a few more songs. Thanks, everyone, for joining in tonight. And uh, remember, if you haven't went yet and voted, you need to get up early in the morning. And uh, if you don't want to stand in a long line, they say the best time to go is mid-morning or mid-afternoon. Uh, the, the traffic will be slow about those two times so get out and uh, exercise your right to vote yeah we need to claim that right and get out there and go vote tomorrow tomorrow's to play and we voting for the change of our country and a better country and i appreciate those people out there that's putting the flags up i'd like to say thank you thank you thank you thank you I live in a land of America, and I love America. God bless America. And Lady Preston, we got Bob Holbrook coming up, and he's going to be singing Better Country, too. And let's take a listen. Hey, don't forget Friday night, we got Chronicles going to be our guest Friday night. Okay, here we go.
once were gone I'd worked for all my life And I had to start again With just my family and my friends I thank my God above Oh, to be living here today Because the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away today cause there ain't no doubt I love this land and God bless the USA from the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee across the plains of Texas from sea to shining sea From Detroit down to Houston New York to LA Well there's pride in every American's heart And it's time we stand and say That I'm proud to be an American Oh at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that right to me, and I gladly. 